Hi everyone, Mike here from workingwithdrones.com. Today we're going to be looking at inspecting items efficiently in the field with your drone. So today we're going to look at DJI Ground Station Pro. There's a lot of apps out there that do the same thing, but this is one that I use and that we can go over. Do note that this is one of the paid features of DJI Ground Station Pro. It's about $70 Canadian for this extra feature. Uh, so note that because there are other apps that have very similar functions and this is just one option. Now once you open up DJI Ground Station Pro, you'll see this screen here. Uh, click on My Missions, go over to the Material tab, then Files, and there's a couple of ways to import uh, KML files. So this is to bring files from Google Earth over, which is what we're working with here. So you can click Start Import. Once you do that, it allows you to transfer files from uh, a web address. So we'll go over to the browser now, and this is what we see. Uh, click on Upload Files, and once you click that, you'll be prompted to point to that KML. Once you've imported it, you have one more step to do here. Uh, you slide over uh, the entry and you click Import, and we'll say at the top, Imported One Geometry. Now we go over to our Map tab, and we can now click on that, and zoom in. Uh, in this case, this is a boundary that I used in the field to, to navigate and know exactly where I was. There's not a lot of defining features where we were here because it's just dense forest basically. So it helps a lot to know where the edges of our study area were and where we needed to inspect. Another option here is of course point data. So in this case, it's an example of a point here that we need to navigate to to get some viewpoints from that specific location. So it makes it a heck of a lot easier to have some spatial data in behind to be able to fly directly to that and capture from that exact location. Um, or find a feature that's really not that obvious and that doesn't stand out uh, that may be quite a ways away and, and it helps us to get to that. Uh, the other way to import data is through email and it's actually it involves one less step so if you email yourself the Google Earth file and you go into your email and click on that KML it will come up with uh, this screen here and up in the corner you can uh, scroll through your different apps and you can click copy to DJI Ground Station Pro and that will be successfully copied to your files and similar to before, you can access that on the map and away you go. This is one example of an app you can use to really be a lot more efficient in the field and, and navigate quickly to what you need to go and inspect. I hope that helps. Thanks for stopping by.